Hi everyone, so in this video I'd like to share with you one of the keys to breakthrough and um, this came to me when the Lord showed me how um, you might pick up a stone and you just think it's a stone but you, if you start to uh, chip at it and to polish it you might discover that actually underneath what seems like a sto stone is actually um, something very precious like a diamond or something. And so um, I want to use three scriptures to illustrate this truth um, because I've experienced it for myself that um, truly um, when you um, scratch beneath the surface, um, there is um, a big chance that you will hit a uh, breakthrough. So the first um, scripture I want to use is the story about um, the blind Matthias. Matthias? The blind Matthias. Um, he was... Um, he, there was a commotion and he asked the people what's going on and they said to him oh the Lord Jesus is walking by and so he started to shout Jesus son of David have mercy on me uh, sorry have pity on me and um and they, they said to him shush shut up yeah. and then he cried out even the more when they said to him be quiet he cried out even the more jesus um son of david son of david have pity on me have pity on me and then the lord commanded them to call him and when they called him to the lord when they brought him to the lord the lord said asked him what do you want me to do for you it's interesting because even one of the first things that happened was he didn't give up. He shouted even the more. The other thing that happened was when he came close to the Lord, the Lord asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And I think that's interesting because the Lord, it's, it's as if the Lord was going even deeper. Um, it was not a superficial, you know, bring him to me. They bring him to the Lord and then the Lord says, receive your sight. It wasn't like that. But instead, the Lord asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And there's something about that that I, I find is um, it's in, it's in the Lord's nature somehow. I, I don't know how to explain it, but if, if you've, I've, I'm sure many of you have experienced this. It's very interesting. Um, it's like scratching beneath the surface and the Lord seems to deal with us and with a lot of issues like that, you know. Um, so what do you want me to do for you? And so the man had to say, you know, that I may receive sight, that I may have, have my sight or some, something like that. And then the Lord gave him um, his sight. The Lord made him to see. And I just find that so interesting that, that um, the Lord did not go straight away into giving him sight. So if you flip this to, to, um, to an example of praying, for example, think about it. So you're praying and you're asking God for something. You're asking him for something. So the Lord comes. And normally you would think that now the Lord has come, he's going to answer that prayer. But instead, he says, what do you want me to do for you? Well, Lord, I, this is what I want. Uh, okay, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain explain it properly, but um, I wish I can show you a picture of, of, what, of what I mean, of what's, what's in my head. But it's just really interesting. Maybe the next example will help to illustrate this. But it's just to, to be uh, mindful Yes, so, so I think th this would do it. So the Lord tells us to, to love him. He, he says, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul and all of your strength, right? And I think we get it in those three areas, uh, all of your mind, all of your heart and all of your soul. But I think the ones that we, the one that we struggle with most as believers is all of your strength. And I think it's the all of your strength bit that requires the scratching beneath the surface, you know? So you're doing the extra mile. You're um, exercising more, more of your will. You're exercising more of your strength. Um, yeah, more of your agreement, you know? 
Um, even when you're waiting quietly before the Lord, you still need to do that with all of your strength, even though you're quietly waiting. So it's never passive. It's never um, indifference, you know. Passivity and indifference is a eh -eh in in uh, in the in the Christian in a Christian person's life. Um, because uh, if you remember Esau, um, when the Lord said to um, when the Lord said in I think in in the book of maybe Isaiah, I'm not sure. But the Lord said, um, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have, but Esau I hate, or Esau I have hated. And you wonder why would the Lord say that? But well, because Esau was indifferent, wasn't he? He was willing to give up his birthright, just like that, you know. Whereas uh, Jacob have had a, a heart of all of your strength heart, you know. It wasn't an indifferent or passive um but Jacob didn't have a passive passive attitude you know he engaged you know yeah so I suppose another way to look at what I'm trying to say is um you know when I say scratching beneath the surface would be like saying you engage even more um engage even further than you already are doing um, like if we look at Mary, when Mary called Peter and John to go back with her to the um, tomb where the Lord was buried. And then when they got there, they realized that what Mary was reporting is true, that the body of the Lord was no longer um, there. So uh, Peter and John, they left, but Mary stayed. She, she stayed on. Yes, she cried. She was crying. But nevertheless, she stayed on. And while she was there, she saw the angels of the Lord. And then and then the Bible says that when she turned, she saw the Lord himself, you know. And, um, and it's interesting because she lingered, she stayed on, and then she saw the Lord, you know. But if she had left with Peter and John, she would have missed that, that moment, you know. And then... Um, the other example is um the two um the two men they were traveling to Emmaus and um the Lord Jesus he they thought it was a stranger he came alongside walking with them um long story short he ended up telling them the whole um the, he ended up he ended up explaining to to them how the Christ must suffer and um etc etc to fulfill the scriptures and what have you and so um he the, the bible says that he was just about to turn to a different direction <clears throat> excuse me he was about to turn to a different direction and they said to him no no come come with us you know come come and stay where we're staying and it was by so doing when he got to where they were staying and he stayed he you know he was with them that he revealed himself to them you see but if that time the lord said okay i'm going this direction bye and they said oh yeah bye thank you for all that understanding all the scripture that you explained to us thank you so much have a good one bye um yeah they would have missed that actually that was the lord but because they went extra they engaged with him they scratched beneath the surface they went a little bit further and you remember what their word, what they said? They said, did not our hearts burn, you know, when when we heard him saying these things, you know? So their hearts was burning and they did something about it. They did not, they were not passive at that reality, at that truth. What was the truth? The truth was when the Lord was explaining stuff to them, their heart was, um, it was stirring things up in their hearts, you know? And they responded to that to that feeling because they said to him, "No, no, come, come with us," you know. And then they they discovered the the Lord revealed revealed Himself to them, you know. So it would be like when you're praying and um, and you're seeking the Lord, and I'm sorry, it's a bit loud outside. Sorry about that. Um, Sorry, I'll just pause it. So um, what, what I was saying is that it would be like um, like when you're praying, for example, and, um, 
and you want to you want to get up now you you've you fin you you feel like you've finished praying and then you say to yourself no you know what i normally get up at this time i normally get up when i feel like this but you know what this time i'm not going to get up i'm going to carry on praying i'm going to carry on saying things i'm not saying you know you stop you know talking 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 that's not what I mean. You can be praying without saying anything, just being in the Lord's presence if you don't really have much to say. Or if you're somebody who prays in the spirit, you can pray in the spirit. Um, but, you know, but yeah, it's just as powerful to just sit in his presence uh, in, you know, in the midst of you praying, you, you suddenly go quiet. And then you say to yourself, you know what, I normally get up around this time or when I feel like this or when I've prayed this long but I'm not going to do that now I'm just going to linger a little bit longer you know and you do that and then another time you do that again and I, I believe that you will discover that you would have um, breakthroughs because that's what's happened with me there's been times when I would be ready to get up from praying to call it the end of my prayer and then I would say to myself, oh, wait, if I just carry on a little bit longer, that's, that would be me pushing the boundaries. That's, that's what I say to myself. I say to my, and, I, and also the other thing I do is I, I always remember Mary, when Mary stayed on, because that scripture really s spoke to me, the fact that she, uh, st that she stayed on. And then she saw the Lord. So sometimes when I'm tired or I want to get up from praying, I remember that. And then I make a decision to stay to stay longer. I may not say anything, but I'll just stay there, you know. And I might just say, Lord, I just want you to know that I'm still here. <laughs> you know, I haven't gone yet. I'm still here and I just stay there. And um, okay, I'll be honest. Sometimes I'll doze off and then I'll wake up. And when I wake up, I'll I'll stay on. You know, I'll I'll try my best not to not to doze off, and I'll I'll just stay on. Um, so it's a bit loud again. <laughs> yeah. So I basically would just say to myself, "Look, Sharon, just if you stay a little bit longer, you're gonna push the boundary. So why don't you stay a little bit longer? And then I'll stay a, a bit longer." And um, and usually it's when I stay longer, a little bit longer, that, that the Lord speaks to me or he'll show me something or he'll give me an understanding of something. Um, yeah, or, or I'll, I'll, I'll go into a trance and, and then and then come out of that trance. But um, but yeah, it's usually, it's usually like that. But don't get me wrong. Sometimes as soon as you you make up your mind that you're going to pray boom the lord um is, is so you're already um being shown things or you're already en encountering the lord that is true but um but yeah but if we can get into the habit of scratching beneath the surface you know um if there's um um if there's one thing that um that i'm certainly doing now is um I'm, I'm trying to um, go a little bit further than I have before, um, you know, push the boundaries a little bit more in my um, time um, with the Lord. Not necessarily length of time, but just engagement is the right word, you know, just um, your engagement with the Lord. So you're not passive, you know. So if you find that um, you work, um, you if you find that you spend your time with the Lord after work and you're tired and, and that's how you spend time with the Lord, you spend time with the Lord when you're tired and for that reason you end up sleeping um, when you're praying, then what you might want to do is you might want to consider um, changing and spending time and spending your time with the Lord at a time when you're not really that tired why because i'm going back to that scripture where the lord says love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul all your strength and all your mind i think the four different ways um that the lord um requires us to love him um 
so yeah so you don't really want to be uh, um giving the lord your leftover when you're tired you know remember i said to you that sometimes i'll doze off you know so so what i try to do is i try and spend time with the lord when i'm not so tired so that i don't doze off or even uh, yeah anyway <laughs> yeah so um so i hope that's helpful um yeah i just have a prophetic word for someone actually um yeah i just see you wearing a green shirt and um a white hat and i think the green shirt has a, a white writing on it i think um the last time the last video I, I put out it was your birthday um so i think uh, it was on the 27th of june it was your birthday and um and i had wanted to to say happy birthday and um i wanted to say if you're watching this video and it's your birthday happy birthday but i didn't i didn't do it and so now i'm preparing to make this video the lord reminded me of that and um to say to that person um it was your birthday when i released the last video which was on the 27th of june and um the lord would have me say to you happy birthday and um he's um re re replenishing and restoring your birthright back to you so um <clears throat> so your your birthright and your struggles and i see something around your family as well your your family members as well i think the enemy has come to you know to really steal a lot from your family um i see you guys uh, as a a unity a united family but you guys have struggled and um and you've walked the walk together as a family you know and um yeah you've walked the walk as a family you know it's like uh there's even been times when the 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 the, the, the word that that goes around in in your family is um the only thing we have is our love for each other that's that's like a, something you guys say to yourselves, to each other. We, we just have our love, you know, and, and God, you know. We just have our love for each other and our love for God, you know. That's what's keeping us going. And the Lord has heard your prayer and he's um, about to restore. So, um, so I hope I've described you properly because it's a specific word. And um, yeah, so anyway, thank you so much, everyone. And uh, have a, a really good evening. See you all. Bye.